We are back. Week number three action here. UNH versus Wake Forest Demon Deacons. University of New Hampshire looking to get their first win of the season against the Demon Deacons, who sit two and one. And they're led out by their star running back, Demond Claiborne, a junior. And Wake Forest is going to take the ball first here as we get the game underway here in Durham, New Hampshire. He passes it there to his receiver, and he's able to get nine on the play. It's going to bring up a second and one. This is the home opener for the Wildcats here. And they're not able to get anything there. This is going to bring up a third and two on the play. Can the Wildcats make a stop on third down? And they're not going to be able to as number 23, the running back for uh, Wake Forest there, DeMar, DeMond Claiborne. Or Claiborne, I'm sorry. Number 23, they're able to get a big gain there, bringing up a first and 10. A little bit of a fake action there. UNH is there, able to stop it. Going to bring up a second and eight on the play. Miller Jr., the um, middle linebacker for UNH, has been an absolute stud so far this season, even despite being 0-2 so far for the Wildcats. Week 4 is only going to get a, a, a yard on the play. They're going to bring up a third and nine. Third and nine here. Sets back to pass. Gets it to his receiver there, but he's going to be short a yard there. Eight yards on the play, and it looks like Wave Force is going to bring the punt team out here early on fourth and one. Ball is up and kicked deep, and it looks like UNH is going to go for the touchback here. At the 20-yard line, the ball is going to be brought up, and the UNH offense is going to be led out by Justin Marlowe, none other than Justin Marlowe, number 11 for the Wildcats. And he's had an okay season so far. He's thrown a couple of picks here and there this year, but he uh, he's showing promise here. He's going to hand the ball off to Jameel Morris there. Loses two on the play. Going to bring up second and 12. In the shotgun formation, Justin Marlowe, Morris, and um, Galloway out in the backfield. And he hit fake handoff there, but it is incomplete as he's hit. Third and 12 in the play. Can UNH make it happen here on third and long? Can they convert here? They have done all right so far this season, converting on third down. And he gets it there to Jameel Morris, but Jameel Morris ain't going to be able to get anything. to bring up fourth and 12 in the University of Wildcats. Punt team coming out. He's going to fair catch that at 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Demon Deacons here on the 38-yard line. He has the ball off there to number 23. Number 23 able to get five. That's DeMond Claiborne. That's his name, ladies and gentlemen. Second and five on the play here. Five-yard game for DeMond Claiborne. Hands it off again to Claiborne. Claiborne able to get to the outside there. Gets about seven or six or seven on the play. Going to bring up a first and ten for the Demon Deacons. And we're up over the 50-yard line now. Hands the ball off again to DeMond Claiborne. Number 23 for the Demon Deacons. Gets six yards on the play. Bringing up a second and four. And he's running the ball pretty efficiently here today. Drops back to pass. Over the middle there, he's got his receiver number five on the reception there. That's Hank Baumaker. That's going to bring up a first and ten down to the 25-yard line for Wake Forest. ACC battle here. This is it outside of number two. Number two is not able to get anything on the play. It's going to bring up a second and 12. Wildcats looking to make a stop here in their own territory. Hands it out to DeMond Claiborne, and he's able to get two on the play. Going to bring up third and eight. What does Wake Forest got for the Wildcat defense here on third and eight? Dishes it off there to his fullback, I think. But he's able to get that. To make a first and ten, Wake Forest cruising with four first downs on the day. Again, hands off to DeMond Claiborne. Gets two on the play, second and eight. We're down in the red zone area here. We'll wait for a strike first. Second and eight, ball is snapped. Got his receiver there, number 20. Hank Baumaker again. It's going to bring him a third and two. Or, I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I think Baumaker is the quarterback. I really apologize for that one. Third and two on the play. And he dishes away. It's going to bring him a fourth and two. I'm assuming. Oh, they're going to go for it here on fourth and two. Guys, I apologize. Hank Baumaker is Wake Forest quarterback. Not a receiver. Fourth and two. He's got him in the corner there. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Demon Deacons early. And Wake Forest going up 6-0 here. Good touchdown in the corner of the top of the end zone there. 
We got 2.53 remaining in the first quarter with Wake Forest leading 6-0. That's Cameron Height. There you go. Tight end Cameron Height with the reception in the corner. And that was an iffy call. If I was UNH, nah, he's got that clear as day. I was going to say if I was UNH, maybe. Maybe we just challenge that, but they decided not to. It is it is, is, it is two feet down inbounds there. Kick is up for the field goal. Point, uh, sorry, PAT. That's going to be 7-0. Ball is up, kick deep. Number 20 of the Wildcats set to receive. He gets it up to the 18-yard line. Justin Marlowe in the Wildcat offense coming back out. You've got Jameel Morris out to his right. Hands it off to Jameel Morris there. Gets five on the play, second and five. Marlowe with the snap. And he's got it there to number 12. Justin Marlowe completes the pass there for another first down up to the 29 yard line. Justin Marlowe back to pass and he's hit as he's thrown. Incomplete pass, second and 10 here. Marlowe in the backfield. Another pass, looks like a screen pass there to Jameel Morris. Jameel Morris completes. And that's gonna get up to the 42 yard line, bringing up another first down for the Wildcats here. Hands it off to Jameel Morris. Morris not able to get anything there, bringing up a second and 10. Marlowe with the snap, hands it off to um, Galloway, sorry. Gets five on the play, third and five. Five yard rush there for Galloway. Justin Marlowe snaps the ball, gets it to number 12. Number 12 with a big gain down to the 30. Gets all the way down to about the 26-yard line. Going to bring up a first and 10. Clock is ticking here. we got about a minute left in the first quarter. And it is first and 10. And we're pushing here. Marlow to Morris. Morris only able to get two there. Second and eight. Justin Marlow with the snap. Drops back in the pocket. Hit as he's thrown, but he's able to complete the pass there. Two number 12. Let's get down to the 11-yard line. First and 10 for the Wildcat offense. Marlo to Morris. Wallace pushing forward. Gains three there, second and seven. 19 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Will UNH be able to punch it in before the first quarter ends? And it's picked off on the goal line by number 24 of the Demon Deacon defense. So get up to the 15-yard line. That is an upsetting end to the drive for the Wildcats. As it's intercepted on the one-yard line. And it's going the other way. Wake Forest ball. Dylan Hazen with the interception. Today. That's middle linebacker right there. And if you're Wake Forest, you love to see that, man. Stopping a, a, a drive that was pushing down to the end zone. And it looks like Hank Baumaker going to take over there. Hands it off to DeMond Claiborne. Loses three on the play. Going to bring up a second and 13. That's going to bring up the end of your first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Wake Forest in the, in the lead and in the driver's seat. 7-0 with the ball heading into the second quarter. And as you can see, it's a pretty even matchup other than rushing. Other than rushing, it's a pretty even matchup. Wake Forest has it uh, rushing the ball as of right now. Second and 13 as we start the second quarter here. Hank Baumaker on the pass. A little, little, little wide receiver screen. Gets, what, three on the play there? Second, or sorry, third and seven on the 18. Third and seven, Baumaker set to pass there. He's able to get it to his tight end there. Fourth and one, and it looks like Wake Forest is going to punt the ball, and that's a good defensive stand for the University of New Hampshire Wildcats there as they're set to get the ball back here. Number 20 set to receive. Gets the ball really, really doesn't get much of a return there. It's going to be spotted at the 36-yard line, first and 10. And that looks like a... I don't even know what the hell that was, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, but I don't even know what the hell went on there. Second and eight, nonetheless, there. Two-yard gain on the play. Marlowe seems to be audible in the play. Hands it off to Jameel Morris. Now it's play action, and it is dished off to Jet Moore as he's hit. Able to complete that pass for a first down, pushing up to the 41. Jet Moore, an absolute stud for the University of New Hampshire Wildcats. And he's their star receiver, and you saw it show there as he completed that pass and gained some. 
Can't go wrong with Jet Moore. Junior, baby. Got another year out of him unless he declares for the draft. But we don't know. We will see as the season unfolds. Marlowe with the play action. Dishes it off there to Jameel Morris. Gets up to the 36-yard line, second and five. Second and five, hands it off to Jameel Morris. Trying to get there for the first down. Only gains two. Going to bring up a third and three on the play. Wildcats looking to convert here on third down. Hands it off there, and that is going to be no good on the third down conversion. Fourth and one. UNH setting the Wildcat formation. Hands it off to the fullback there. Fullback pushing forward for literally a yard and able to complete the first down conversion. Chains are moving for the Wildcats. Marlowe set to pass. He's hit again under pressure. Incomplete pass second and 10. The line's got to do a little bit of blocking. A little bit of blocking, give him a little bit more time as he's in the pocket there. And he's got Jet Moore again. Jet Moore spin move right there, and he's able to get into that end zone. And UNH puts it within one point as they score a touchdown. Jet Moore with another touchdown on the season. It's 7-6 currently. Wake Forest still in the lead. Pending the PAT. Jet Moore, I mean, he's just, you know, he's the type of receiver that you want on your team. He, he, he's fast. He, he's agile. He can catch the ball in traffic. He's just an all-around great receiver. And I think it shows uh, in his FB, in the FBS debut of UNH this season on how good of a receiver he actually is. BAT is up and good, and it is 7-7. And UNH is set to kick the ball off, and they kick it deep. Number 86 for the Wake Forest, Demon Deacon set to receive. And he's pushing up there. He gets it up to the 19. First and 10 as Hank Baumaker and the Demon Deacons come back out on offense. Motioning over his receiver. Hands it off to DeMond Claiborne. DeMond Claiborne able to get two on the play. Second and eight. Shotgun formation for Hank Baumaker and Wake Forest. Hands it off to DeMond Claiborne again. Could have had a big game there if he would have leaped over it, but he only gets three on the play there. Going to bring him a third and five. UNH really needs to make a stand here. And they're not able to make a stand as DeMond Claiborne is able to get that first down reception, pushing him up to the 31-yard line. Chains are moving again. First and 10 here. Hands it off. Nope. Play action pass to DeMond Claiborne, but he gets his receiver. No, it's incomplete. Sorry, incomplete. Second and 10. Second and 10 pass completion there, and that's going to bring the third and two. Another third down conversion potentially on the way here for the Demon Deacons. And they're not able to get that third down conversion. It's fourth and two is the play. And the punt team for Wake Forest is out here. And the ball is up, and ball is kicked deep. Number 20 for the Wildcats set to return the kick. And he gets up to the 26-yard line, bringing up a first and 10. Justin Marlowe and Rahi, or sorry, Jameel Morris. In the backfield, motions over the tight end. Hands it off to uh, Jameel Morris. Gets to the 30, only gains four on the play, second and six. You can't argue with four yards on a play. If you're running the ball consistently and you get four yards of play, you got yourself a first down. The pass is complete there to uh, Zarius Smith Jr. And that's going to be another first down for the Wildcats. Ball is snapped and handoff to Jameel Morris yet again. Only gains three on the play, second and seven. And we're coming up on the two-minute warning here in the first half. And UNH is pushing here, trying to get a touchdown in the end zone before, or even points on the more, more points on the board before we go into half here. Marlowe scrambles out the pocket, has his receiver sitting there alone and deadly. Dishes it up over the top to him and able to get the first down. Marlowe is on fire today, as you can see there. First and 10, right at the two minute warning. Morris with the run, gets four on the play, second and six here. Justin Marlowe takes a snap, drops back in the pocket, dishes it away. Don't know if he really saw anything. I guess he obviously didn't if he decided to throw it away there. Third and six on the play here. UNH with the snap. 
Passes up, passes complete to Jet Moore. It's about 11 on the play there, first and 10 down to the 15 yard line. UNH in prime time territory right here to potentially score another touchdown. That's a failed screen pass there, bringing up a second and 10. Second and 10, Marlowe drops back to pass. Be able to get it there to number 12. The receiver for the Wildcats gets down to the four yard line. 11 yard reception there, first and goal here. Ball is incomplete, their second goal here. We're right here, UNH is right here. Can they punch it into the end zone here? Marlowe drops back to pass. Oh, he almost throws another pick there. That's gonna be a third and four. Wake Forest defense scrambling there, hoping to get that, that pick, but it just was not, it wasn't happening for him. Marlowe with the snap. Ball is incomplete. It's going to make him fourth and goal, and it looks like UNH is going to put three up here. Kick the field goal for three. Field goal is up, and it is good, and UNH takes a three-point lead here as we're rounding closer and closer to the end of the first half. You know, you got to take your lumps where they are. You know, you might as well take that three. Fourth and four is a little bit risky. Some teams may take it. Some may not. Personally, I wouldn't take it. I would take my three points there. It's kind of been a back and forth game with the interceptions and stuff like that. Not a bad decision in my book there. Number 86 set to receive the ball here for Wake Forest and he breaks through. Thought he was going to get through up to the 29. First and 10 is the Wake Forest offense coming back on the field. Trailing by three here. 109 left in the first half. And he's got his receiver number five there. And it looks like they're going to take a timeout there on the play. And we're at the 42-yard line, first and 10. Another pass complete to number five there. Gets nine on the play, second and one. To Wake Forest taking their second timeout. Second and one here. Hank Baumaker drops back to pass, and he's got it over the middle, number two, down to the 27-yard line. And just like that, we got a first and 10, and we are pushing. Wake Forest is pushing. Drops back to pass here. Up top. Able to... No, it's, oh my God, that kind of tricked me a little bit. Not able to complete it. Incomplete pass, sorry. Second and 10. I got a little excited there. That would have been a nice pass to watch. Second and 10. He's got his man there, number 81, down to the five-yard line. First and goal with 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. Wake Forest looking to punch a touchdown in there. And the ball is batted away by the UNH defense. Good deflection there. Second and goal on the five. Ball is snapped. Damon Claiborne able to get away from Miller Jr. And just like that, Wake Forest able to punch it into the end zone. And now they take the lead, 13 to 10, pending PAT, with 29 seconds remaining here in the first half. Ball is kicked, and it is up. And Wake Forest with the four-point lead with 29 seconds remaining here in the first half. Ball is kicked deep. Will UNH return it? And they decide to field the ball. Number 20 gets it up to the 17. And Justin Marlowe and the Wildcats taking over on offense. 27 seconds remain. Can they make it happen here before the quarter ends? Marlowe drops back to pass. Throws it deep. And he's got number 10, Zarius Smith Jr. And he's down to the 10, 5, touchdown. University of New Hampshire, Zarius Smith Jr., number 10, with a huge reception. Breaks away for a touchdown. And UNH leading 16 to 14, pending PAT with 16 seconds remaining here in the first half. Absolutely monster play by Z Zaris Zarius. I call him Zarius. I'm just going to call him Zarius. Zarius Smith Jr., monster play there. Able to get there, reach for the ball, and just continue to put the gas, the pedal to the metal, and get his ass in the end zone there. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. UNH with a field goal. PAT attempt, and now they're up three. Going into the half. 16 seconds unless something miraculous happens here for Wake Forest. But it looks like it's a back and forth battle here between Wake Forest and UNH in this ACC debut this year for them. This is the first conference matchup for both teams. 12 seconds remain here in the first half. All UNH has got to do is keep the ball in front of them. They hand it off to DeMond Claiborne. 
Von Claiborne gets one on the play. It's going to be second and nine. I feel like that's going to bring up the end of the first half. Nope, he's going to hike it before the end. Demon Claiborne, is he gone? Huge gain there for Demon Claiborne. He's got 56 yards on the day. Shout out to Demon Claiborne. That's going to bring up the end of your first half, ladies and gentlemen. The University of New Hampshire Wildcats leading 17 to 14 as we go into the half. You look at the stats right there. Justin Marlowe, absolutely playing an outstanding game, passing the ball, other than his interceptions. But he's got 259 yards so far today on the Demon Deacon defense, man. And, and, and he, you really got to credit his receivers, too, able to get up there and make catches as, they, as they're thrown. You know what I mean? Overall, UNH just really playing great ball, even, even despite being 0-2 to start the season. You know what I mean? I, I, I think I think as as a coach, as a player, you know, you really got to go into every game, you know, as 0-0, you know, every game's, you know, national championship. That's how I would approach it. Every game you're playing for that national championship and just come out lights out. Here we go. Start your second half. Jamil Morris able to push forward there. Gets a yard, second and nine. Again, hands it to Jamil Morris. This time, Jamil Morris gets a decent gain there. He's able to get a, a, about 10 on the play there. Pushing up to the 20 yard line, first and 10. Marlowe in the backfield, drops back. And he's got his man there, gets seven on the play, second and three. Hands it off to Jamil Morris. Breaks a tackle there, spins. Gets it up to the 45 yard line, first and 10 for the Wildcats. Marlowe drops back. Throws another interception. Number 38 of the Demon Deacon defense. Looks like he's going to go down to the 10. Five. Pick six for Devon Patterson. 44-yard pick six. And just like that, Wake Forest, man. Wake Forest is back on top here. 20-17. to 17. Ball is snap. PAT is up. We got a flag on the play. I'm assuming it's a roughing the kicker. It's not going to matter. It's going to be a point anyway. 21-17, Wake Forest leading. Wake Forest kicks it deep. All the way to the back of the end zone. There's going to be no return there. Bringing the ball up to the 25-yard line. UNH are looking to try to fight for that lead back. Hands it off there to Galloway. Galloway gets three on the play there, second and seven. Justin back to pass, and he's got his man there. That's Zara Smith Jr. Huge play there. First and 10 up to the 41. Again, hands it off to Jameel Morris. Morris pushing forward there. Gets seven on the play there. Going to bring up a second and four. Again to Morris. Morris up the middle. Morris able to push forward, getting another first down for the Wildcats here. You're starting to slowly hear the small, minuscule crowd that we have here in Durham, New Hampshire get a little bit louder as they realize that their Wildcats are fighting for their lives out here and really playing a different level of football than they've seen so far this season. Second and five on the play here at the 28-yard line. Hands it off to Galloway. Galloway to the outside there. Gets two on the play, third and three. Third and three, hands it off to Morris. Morris up the, uh, outside the tackle, really. Pushing forward, able to get another first down for the Wildcats. That's really all I like to see. Just ground and pound, ground and pound, and that's what we're seeing here from UNH today. And they're definitely airing the ball out as needed, but that's what you love. You love a, a deadly team that can, that can pound the rock and throw the rock. But just like that, Justin Marlowe throwing his third pick of the day. And the ball is turning over to the Wake Forest offense on the 18-yard line. Justin Marlowe just can't get out of his own way today, man. He's playing good, throwing the ball good, and then all of a sudden he's got three picks on the day. Got to clean those picks up, man, if you want to be a quarterback in the NFL. After this, if you want to be continue as a as a as a an FBS quarterback, whatever you decide to do. And number 23, Damon Claiborne pushing forward there. Huge gain there, first and ten. Play action pass. There, he's got number five. Number five able to get about 11 on the play. They're up to the 44. First and 10 for the Demon Deacons. Ball is snapped. 
looking to pass the ball here. Beautiful sack on the play. That's going to be a loss of eight. Second and 18. Drops back to pass. Got his receiver number five there. Got to wrap up. If you're UNH, you got to wrap up there. That's a 15-yard gain, third and three. Can UNH make a stand here on third down and get off the field? And they cannot. As there's a little dish-off pass there. First and 10 for the Demon Deacons here as they're rounding into Wildcat territory. Off to Claiborne again. Claiborne gets three. It's going to bring up a second and seven. Second and seven. Hand. Ooh, play action pass there. Incomplete pass. Third and seven here. Another third down, third down play here for UNH defense, and they need to get off the field here. Pass is complete. Gain six. Fourth and one, and it looks like. It looks like Wake Forest has got all their receivers. He's alone in the backfield. Fourth and one. Able to make the fourth down conversion. And we have noticed today that UNH has struggled on third down conversions and even now fourth down conversions. Defense has got to get off the field on third and fourth down. Regardless, they have to get off the field there. Two yards in the play, second and eight down to the 16. Devon Claiborne able to get a few there. He's got about, oh, he's getting close to about 100 yards in the day. Third and six here. Another third down play for UNH defense. Got to get off the field. We keep saying it. Into the end zone. Almost picked off, but it is deflected. Fourth and six. And Wake Forest looking to put three up here to make it 24 17 total. Ball is up and kicked. And ball is wide right. Kind of shanked that kick a little bit. No good. The score remains. Twenty-one seventeen after that, that missed kick, and that's that's unfortunate if you're Wake Forest. You really wanted to put that a seven-point game, but it is what it is. Can't get too hard on yourself about it. Three yards on the play there. Second and seven. Play action pass. Justin Marlowe gives it to Jah uh, uh, Jameel Morris. Gets two on the play, third and five. Now UNH offense, they need to convert here. They're trailing here. Getting closer to the end of the third quarter. They absolutely need to convert here on third down. Jameel Morris gets the screen pass to Jameel Morris and gets that first down and more, no problem. Ten yards on the play there. And we got first and 10, 35. A little fake screen, fake jet touch pass there. Galloway gets it up there to another 10 yards, 45 yard line. It's gonna bring the end of your third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Wake Forest with the 21 to 17 lead as we head into the uh, into the fourth quarter. And if you look at that, Demon Claiborne is just absolutely playing great. He's got a touchdown on the day. He's running the ball like they need him to for Wake Forest. But so is Jameel Morris for UNH. Gets three in the play, second and seven. We could be in for a wild finish here in Durham, New Hampshire, ladies and gentlemen. Second and seven, hands it off to Morris. Morris got two on there, third and five here. Another third down play here that UNH needs to convert on. Can't afford to punt the ball away yet. Or at all, really. And he's hit. As he throws it, fourth and five, and just like that, UNH is going to punt the ball away. Ball is kicked deep. Looks like they're going to go for the touchback there, and it is. The ball is going to be coming up to the 20. UNH trailing by four. They need to make a stop here. They can't afford to go down any more points at this point. I mean, you don't want to let up any points. That's a loss of three, second, and 13. You don't want to let up any points, but at the end of the day, if you got to let up three, let up three, it's still a seven-point game. But if you let up a touchdown, man, it's going to get sticky. Third and 15, UNH has to get off the field right here. Third and long. Make a stop. Got his man there. Damon Claiborne gets 11 on the play. Fourth and four, and just like that, UNH makes the stop that they need. Ball is punted. Number 20 is going to field the ball. 
Gets about 10, 11, maybe 12, 13 or, or so on the play. First and 10 of the 43. 525 remaining in the game. And you need a little bit of urgency if you're UNH. Run, not, not actually, no, no, no. Let me correct that. We don't need, you don't need a little urgency. You need to run that clock down a little bit. Because if you score, you know, you're in a good position to where you're leading by three. So run that clock. Run that clock. Second and 10 here. Marlowe drops back to pass. Able to get it there to Jet Moore. Jet Moore pushing forward there. Gets 11 on the play there. First and 10 for the Wildcats. And they're getting ready to push up over the 50-yard line. Hands it off to Jameel Morris. Jameel Morris pushing. Good run there for Jameel Morris. Gets nine on the play. Second and one. Second and one. Hands it off to Morris again. Morris pushing forward. Gets about four on the play or so. Roughly. All that matters is that first down and the chains are moving. Marlowe drops back to pass. Gets it there to Jet Moore again. Jet Moore gets seven, second and three. Jamil Morris with the handoff there. Huge run again, nonetheless, for Morris. Down to the 15, first and 10. Hands it out to Morris again. Dylan Hazen, the, def uh, the middle linebacker for Wake Forest, looks to be shaking up on the play. Gets four on the play there, though. Jameel Morris gets four of the play there, second and six. Another fake jet touch pass. And that's another first down for the Wildcats. And now we're sitting at fourth and goal in the five. Hands it off to Galloway. Galloway gets it down to the one. Second and goal on the one yard line here. UNH looking to punch the ball in here. Jameel Morris gets in there, no problem. Recording another touchdown, a rushing touchdown for Jameel Morris on the year. You love to see it. He's good out there with the Heisman pose, man. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a solid running back, man, and, and we hope to see a lot bit more of him this season. He's a stud on the team, and, 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 and if you're UNH, you should be happy to have this guy on your team. Do whatever you can to keep him on the team. Kick is up. Kick is good. UNH with the three-point lead with 331 left in the game. All they need to do is really make a stop here. 86 set to return the ball. Fields it, gets up to the 15-yard line there. First and 10 for the Demon Deacons. They need a little bit of a sense of urgency here. They got plenty of time, three timeouts, but a little bit of urgency to make sure you get that ball in there. Able to complete that pass for six there. It's going to be second and four. Number 19 set back to pass. He does a little dish off there to his tight end. Number 20 is tight end, able to make the first down. That's all that matters. We're coming up on three minutes left in the game here. Another pass here. Gets it off to DeMond Claiborne, pushing down there. Up to the 41, first and 10. Wake Forest is moving. If you're UNH right now, you need to kind of, kind of pump the brakes on this offense. Because they're moving the ball. Gets to receiver number five. Another first down for the Demon Deacons. Number 19 drop backs to pass. Again, he's got number five there. Gets nine on the play. Second and one. Wake Forest really moving the ball efficiently this drive. Hands it off to DeMong. Nope, play action. Over the middle there. He's got number two, and number two is good for a touchdown. Wake Forest putting it in the end zone. And, and, and just like that, Wake Forest going to step back out front. 27-24, pending PAT. This PAT will put them up by four. It is up. It is good. And Wake Forest leads 28-24 with 2.18 remaining in the game. Ball is kicked deep. Number 34 for the Wildcats. Throws up the hand for the fair catch, bringing the ball up to the 25-yard line. UNH right now, you are in the driver's seat whether you're trailing or not, you need. Now right here, you need to play the game. UNH is Jameel Moore shaking up on the play there. He's able to get the first down. And we're up to the 40 here. Marlowe back, drops back to pass. Doesn't see anything, goes to scramble, cuts in. Able to push forward, scrambles for the first down. Two minutes remaining here in, in the game, ladies and gentlemen. We might have a solid fight for a finish. Jameel Morris not able to get anything. It's caught at the line, second and nine. 
Play action pass there. Justin Marlowe looks like he's going to try to scramble again. And the ball is out and the ball is fumbled. And Wake Forest, Wake Forest picks up the fumble. Oh, my God. With a minute 42 remaining, Wake Forest picks up the fumble. But pause. UNH got three timeouts. Got to make a stop here. Got to make a stop here. Not able to get anything. Good play there by the UNH defense taking their first timeout. Loss of two, second and 12. Game is still very, very winnable. If you can get them three and out, you'll be okay. If they get the first down, the game is over. Hands it off again to DeMond Claiborne, but the defense, that that is... Um, geez, I apologize. Smith Jr., Smith Jr., Smith Jr., middle linebacker, middle linebacker, middle linebacker. Third and 12, big play here. UNH took their second time. They got one left, hands it off again on third and long, and UNH is there to stop them, taking their third time out. It's going to be fourth and 12. Assuming, yep, Wake Forest punt team coming out, you got 128. If you're Justin Marlowe in the Wildcat offense, you got one minute and 20 something seconds to make it happen. Play smart, plenty of time, but no timeouts. You got to have urgency at the line. Marlowe drops back to pass. Doesn't see anything, scrambles, loses two when he tries to scramble there. Second and 12, clock is ticking. This is the Justin Marlowe money drive. Second and 12. He's got his man there, number 12. Gets a few yards there, gets up third and five. Big play here on third down. If you're UNH, big play here, got to convert. Marlowe drops back to pass. Throws it up there. And it is incomplete, fourth and five. Potentially the final play of the game. UNH has to go for it here on fourth and five. Trailing by four, 48 seconds. Marlowe drops back to pass. It's complete, Zari Smith Jr. Oh my God, it is complete first down. Clock is still ticking though, clock is still ticking. Gotta make a play. Play action pass. Ball is up and it is deep. Oh my God. It was almost picked off again, Jesus. Incomplete second and 10. Second and 10. Marlowe drops back to pass. Incomplete third and 10. Another third down play here. Big play. Listen, listen. If you're if you're waiting for a defense, big play. Stay calm here and play your play your game. Third and ten. Marlowe D throws it up. And the ball is complete to Zari Smith Jr. Wow. In traffic. Good reception there. And good, honestly, good throw from Marlowe. 18 seconds. He's got him wide open. He's got him wide open. Number 86 with it. Wide open. Gets out of bounds. 14 seconds. Justin Marlowe with 406 passing yards on the day. This is just, it's, it's wild to see for Justin Marlowe. Absolutely. Even three picks on the day. He's got two touchdowns, I believe, but 406 passing yards. He's been able to air the ball out like none other. And, and you would, oh, and it's a touchdown. Wow, what a drive by UNH. Number 15 for the touchdown. And UNH jumping back in the lead with literally 10 seconds remaining. What a back and forth game here between Wake Forest and UNH. And the kick is up. Kick is good. UNH takes the three-point lead, 31-28. 10 seconds remaining in the game. Wake Forest, three timeouts. Can they answer and win this game? Number 86 set to receive the ball there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. And he goes down with five seconds remaining on the clock. 26-yard line. This will be a final play of the game. And UNH is looking to play safe defense there to keep everything in front of them. Number 19 set to drop back. Looking to throw it. And he throws it. And it looks like double coverage coming in. And the ball is batted away. And UNH winning 31-28 in a barn burner type fashion. UNH is able to clinch their first win of the season moving to one and two and they're getting their first acc conference win they're one and oh in the acc now now you just got to build off of, off of this if you're the unh football team you got your first fps win not much more to it you got your first win you played a hell of a game against a good team in my opinion um and that's really going to be it ladies and gentlemen make sure you like subscribe hit your noti bell so you don't miss anything and we'll see y'all boys in the next episode man peace